What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel today. We're going to talk about a game that I've really enjoyed playing, beating, and experiencing. Doom on the PlayStation 4. Doom is a great game overall and it really threw me for a loop. I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. The game was eye shatteringly beautiful. It ran like at a pace that was hard to keep up with for any console that I've ever known of and it just really was a fun experience and very cohesive and it gave homage, paid great homage to the original Doom and Doom 2 games. But one thing that I don't like, like if you guys look up my past videos on Satanism in the video gaming industry, this is a couple years ago I made that video, but there are sometimes developers or people in the industry, it could be music industry like we deal with so much now or the television industry, who do subliminal things. Uh, they, they like to drop subliminal hints in video games and music and, and on the television screen and sometimes it takes a very keen eye or, or sometimes ear to pick up on some of these messages. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not an atheist. I happen to believe in God. I happen to believe that we're here for a reason other than the reasons that man gives. I think that there's a spiritual thing going on here. That's my personal opinion. If you don't believe it, uh, that's, you know, I, I respect everybody's opinion, so please respect mine. But someone on Reddit found some really creepy and strange imagery in the soundtrack of the Doom game, and they found it in a very peculiar way. And be sure to click the link below so you can actually see this shit for yourself. I don't rock with this kind of stuff. So just being aware of it makes me feel a lot better because you guys might not think, but I do think that subliminal messages do have some form of uh, uh, effect on your subconscious mind. But anyway, I'll drop a link below. Satanic figures are hidden in Doom's soundtrack. Video game about hell has links to the devil, surprisingly, right? Until now, no secret could challenge the Doom reboot's best and most beloved easter egg, the toy soldier fist bump. But it turns out there's an even juicier hidden item that goes well beyond the game itself. Reddit user TomCB ran Doom soundtrack through software to see a spectrogram, which is a visual representation of an audiophile spectrum of frequencies. The result, if you take a look at the song appropriately titled Cyber Demon, is an easy to see combination of the number 666 and an inverted pentagram spelled out in the glyph. That's a clear sign that video games are using subliminal messaging to turn young children into Satanists. Or is it just a really cool wink and nod from creator id Software, which faced those very accusations back in the early 90s when it released the original Doom? Here's another video on YouTube that more clearly demonstrates the process of finding the Easter egg. Now, this might be, it might honestly be, you know, just a funny subliminal. But, you know, the doctrine that I read and, and the, the stuff that I actually believe in, the number 666 is not a joke. It's not something to play with. Uh, and neither is the inverted pentagram, you know. And I honestly, I try to try to stay away from that kind of shit as much as I can. Now, if you don't believe in any religion, that's totally on you. And for the people who know me and have followed me for a while, you guys know I am, you know, I do believe in, in, in the spiritual world. I do believe in God and I do believe that the devil is real. You know, as a child, I've seen some shit that cannot be explained, and uh, if you guys don't know what that stuff is, look up my Minecraft true stories. But, uh, you know, this is more symbols and, and, and more uh, hidden s subliminal messages. I mean, not many people are going to look through the spectrograph of an audio file, especially something like Doom. And who knows, obviously somebody thought of this, but who knows if there's more meanings to it. You know, I've heard many things about the music industry and all kinds of shit that goes into music. So who knows? You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Is id software just having fun uh you know throwing this 666 and inverted pentagram into the soundtrack or do you think that it could possibly be subliminal messaging in any kind of way hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give a thumbs up show support for the beastly gamer channel follow me on twitter follow me on facebook and if you're new to the channel subscribe now i'm the beastly gamer i'll see you guys next time Let it go.